so in this video now we will try to learn how to create new table insert that value by graphically and as well as with sql command so first thing i will create a database So now it's done. I will go it here and I will use that SQL tutorial. Now, first thing I will try to create table with. Create table, table name. So TBL underscore EMP, I will give name. So syntax is that create table table name so i will write in this way only. table underscore name but that table name right now i'm giving as table name in bracket now we need to give that column name so i will give that column one then the data type so integer put column two as worker of 10 okay and now so before that i will go ahead and i will show you so sql tutorial in table nothing is there so whenever i will go and execute this one so we can see that it successfully created now if we go ahead and refresh it we can see that by default dbo dot table name came so this also i will explain you what is that dbo later point of time so now it's already created so now if i go ahead and right click and if i do a script as and create to in new query window yeah so now you can see that first thing it's use a statement and then db name and then go statement and then here create table table name then column name you can see here null is there so this also will try to understand after next might be in next video we'll go ahead and try to understand these things so you can go ahead and see that how they creating and we write in a simple one line so now i will go ahead and try to create new so i first thing need to select the database then table right click new then table okay so it's asking that column name so if suppose i will give that id okay data type it will by default here it's showing and you can see too many all those data types are there so now since we need that id as integer so we can go ahead and use that int allow null means is that we going to allow to enter any blank value also or if not so id number will be null okay just like first name last name and middle name middle name might be null so here i can allow allow null not checked so now if i will go ahead here uh, right now i will put only name and then we can put worker of 50 and allow null i will keep as it is and when i try to save this one now it will ask do you wanted to save if i put yes then it's going to promote us that enter that table name you can give it here table name or by default it will be so that table one two three like this count so as of now i will give that table emp okay so table emp i give and now if i go ahead here and try to refresh this one we can see now table emp is there now how we can go ahead and edit top 200 rows if i put there are no value so it's coming as blank so if i put that id1 name as a id2 name as b okay id3 and name i can keep it blank okay but i can't do in reverse way because i get that uh, id not null so now if i try to save this we can see that it's throwing that error okay so if i go it here put that four 
and then if we try to do that save we can see it's now already done okay so now if i go ahead and now try to do that select from that table select a star from so this is that syntax to see that any value in that table select a star from and then table name so right now if i put that table underscore emp okay so here red color marks is coming because this is older uh, session and it's not able to find that intelligence that's why it's red thing is coming now we can see that its values are displaying if i go hit here and now if i go if i try to put edit to top 200 rows we can see here and if i go it here and try to select top 100 rows okay so it will be go in this syntax and then it will try to do that so those things we learn later but for now at least we got to know okay we can do in this way and if i wanted to insert that one new row so by writing insert sql command so what we can do we can go it here and we can put that first is insert okay and then into insert into table name so our table name is table underscore emp okay insert into tables now we need to pass that column. So now I can pass like this ID, comma, name. Okay. Then I will put values. And then in ID, if I can pass five, okay. And then comma, in single quotation, whatever character value we going, string we going to enter, I will need to put in single quotation or double quotation. And when I execute this, clicking on this button, it's showing successfully one row affected and time. Okay. Now, if I go ahead and execute this select statement, you can see that now fifth row came with that value of F. You can see there is two tab. One is called result. Other is called message. So if you've seen that message, how many row it's affected, it's going to display that. Okay. And that time. So suppose if I put that both now, I'm going to run. I'll do it in one more way. Okay. Go ahead and put it here. Eight and there. A, B, C. Okay. And now if we go and execute this one. So before insert, it was five after insert it was become six eight and abc inserted if you see in that message tab first command this one return as five rows that's why it's showing five rows affected second one one so it's one and third one it's give us back six rows so it displaying six rows affected so in this way we can do that we can create table and then we can insert that value and we can use that Okay, please let me know if you have any doubt and later we going to next video I will explain what is that DBO and how we can create this is basically default schema. So I will try to explain new schema how to create and how we can use the default schema. Thank you.